Well, hello and welcome back. Well, hello and well. Well, hello and welcome back to my hole in the ground here. Last we left off, we got well a few plants are actually growing some resources for me, namely redstone, glowstone, and quartz because well, I need quite a bit of that. So that's good. We could go on to make a few more plants, but. That is good enough for now. What I kind of want to do at the moment is see if I can deal with these hostile mobs spawning. That's the plan. So, a couple things I can make use of, like this drop of evil I think I could make use of, but I think we will well, open up, put a place in here just to spawn all these sorts of enemies in. So, Plunk one in right here. So we've got a small little area which we're going to set up for a mob farm. Now, may not look like much at the moment, but there is a couple of things I'm thinking of. One, we can make use of this drop of evil, these drops of evils we've got here to do something. And two, we can make use of these vector plates as well, possibly. Now the thing is, we've got this in the center, so that's a bit on the worrisome side, but if we use a drop of evil on this dirt, bang, that's made cursed earth. Which that is very nice. And then we can easily set this up to... I wasn't expecting that. Push it all over to here. Now, it's not very fast, but it works. At least somewhat. Now, there's going to be one thing that we're not going to get from it, and that is... If we used to, to use witch water here, but... I wonder if we replace... This very center part there with witch water. Whether that is enough to actually get this going. Yeah, that witch water is nasty, step in. Okay. Um, well, I've already got it set up, so we should have the vector plate in here. Perfect. So if we plunk that down here, and because we've got dark glass in here, this does not let any light in. So if we just seal this up, hopefully we should start to see mobs spawning. Yeah, there we go. Now, there's an issue. The mob masher is not being powered, so... Let's go parrot. And because positioning, we can easily just do... Yeah, that works. Plunking that there, powers it. Now, if the witch water is working... Oh, yep. It is. So it is turning all these mobs into alternate versions. So that is cool. That includes Wither Skeleton Skulls. And we're also getting, with, getting a bunch of things from there. So that's great. I'm liking that. Now, we're not going to be getting bones or a few other things, but... I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about getting specific items. Yeah, that's fine. But we are getting these resources in, so that is good to know. These will be building up, so that's great. We're getting plenty of... Yeah, we're getting up to 10 with skull fragments. Cool, now that is, would be useful to be able to make the something with, but I'm pretty happy with that. Curse Earth, Vex Plate Smooth, the mobs around, Witch Ward to transform it. If need be, I can always change it out from Witch Ward to something else, or even have the Witch Ward placed elsewhere, but find what we got there. So. Oh, okay, what we need to also be doing is loot bags. 
can we grab an exporter? Now, it's just going to be very basic and to get that being dealt with, but we'll export this all into the bag storage. And for now, we will just throw... Oh, that's not where I want the, that to go. So if we put the bag storage here, export. Have it facing the right direction would probably be a good idea. And then we can also go. Oh, storage as well. Uh, I forgot exactly what it is that I'm trying to go for here. The external storage. Either way, let's grab these bags that we can. Nice, we've already got like all five of them. Common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. So, we've got 553 stored. If we throw that in, 617. Cool. It's perfect. Or oh, actually, yeah, that's fine. Can we get the bag opener? And is there something else we can make use of with that? The loot recycler. Let's see how well this works. What I'm working, thinking works here. Okay, because we're just going to be opening legendary loot bags because we currently are only interested in like the growth crystals tier three and possibly even these essences we get. It's not like the other loot bags are going to have anything useful in them. Common loot bag. Yeah, nothing really standing out there. Nothing there either. Not really. Yeah. So this would give us a bunch of good, good stuff really. So, if we grab a normal hopper, we can do this, feed it into bag opener here. Cool. That open it, gives a bunch of stuff, and we can. So there's up to going to accept the import certain things here. <clears throat> Which we've got a decent amount of that. Uh crush that, authorize that. And we can get some stuff back from all this. Anything else that we would want from here? Actually, a lot of these are really good, so... Let's grab another importer here. I was thinking I would use a recycler, but nah. Let's go straight for another importer. Oh yeah, because we're also going to be getting... experience from a few of these things here. We need to actually... If we take a look in the absorption part, we're building up on liquid experience there. So, I'm going to need to add some fluid discs in here. So if we take a look here, fluid storage discs. Yeah, storage parts. 
Can we add those fed easily? Hmm. Four patterns? Probably mean up more than enough. Up processing will go fluid storage parts. Okay. Smallest is a 64k. We'll refine storage. Check. 256k. 1020, 1024k and 4096k. So these are all just crafting, so we'll just throw them into these crafters here to be able to make the up to the max size full storage part. Can we make the 4096 full storage part? Okay. We need the silicon, the bucket, the quartz, and the redstone. It's all a lot. Okay, the bucket. Now we make use of the pattern here. We can go pattern, start, start. Bang and set bucket. There we go. I think the silicon one we're going to have to or dictionary it. So I'm pretty sure that's just this one here. Plonk you down or dictionary. Cause we've got, I'm pretty sure I have another way of making that silicon. We do it like that. Fluid storage, let's see what else we need. It's just quartz and redstone, perfect. Everything else we're good for. So. Redstone, we've got some redstone essence, which that might be enough to get a little bit more. Not a massive amount. What about the quartz essence? I have no idea how much this is going to give me. Another quartz essence. 12. So I might need to go and grab some more nether quartz, which that's always fun, but hey, it is what it is. That's if we want to go for a full 4096 on here. Oh wow, we need 22 more redstone and the 153 quartz. That is a lot. What do we need to manual in? Do we have, yeah. Now oh, we can. So if we grab some manual in ingots, we can repair up my arrows before we head on. Cool, we've got 143 more, that's good. Um, yeah. So I think I might actually go in and grab a bit more in the way of quartz. And possibly even redstone or look for a few things here. So be right back once we've got a bunch of it. Now I've got quite a bit of quartz from that. Well, run, but it's not going to last me very long because literally, as soon as I make this fluid storage part, which, oh, we need to make more redstone. Do we have the essence? No, 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 no. Huh. How's our mana situation? Because I need to get that back up and running, but, oh, we have a little bit. We might be able to work with this and convert some more glowstone to... Redstone, you. Question, how much redstone do we need for this here? Fluid, 496 fluid. Do we need any glowstone? We need 21 more. We can do this. So just plunk a you down, we'll plunk a you down, we'll plunk a, yep, nope. You on top, empty the mana out. We'll also grab the, my wand of the forest while I'm here. Cool. Plonk this down. We just need this much glowstone. Hopefully there is enough in here to say yes. 
Yes, there is. And now we just need to re-grab the mana out of here. Cool. Yeah, we're getting really low on mana. We're going to need to get that back, set up back soon. But we have enough to be able to make this fluid storage bus part. We make, go over here. We can watch it craft, which it's going to have to craft. Oh, it's melting up a bunch of nether quartz into the silicon we need, so that's good. It's going to take a little bit, but it is crafting it up. There's nothing untowards happening here, just slow and s steady. Once that's done, we can put it into a... Ah, 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 come on. Fluid storage part would be used in to make a fluid... We want fluid storage housing. We don't have enough redstone, do we? Hmm. Well... That's the case. I'm pretty sure it's this one for the redstone. And that's what I'm pretty sure it was. Well, let's see here. No, that's glowstone. Wrong one. Oh, redstone was the first one, so it should be this one over here. My axe is right there. Yeah, redstone seeds. Perfect. There we go, that gave us a decent amount. At least enough to do what I'm after here. So, make use of you. Bang, bang. Uh, 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 uh. Get some more redstone. Enough to do that twice. Perfect. Quartz enriched iron, we need more of that. There we go, some redstone. Well, let's actually make the storage housing first. Find storage, storage housing, perfect. We get the storage housing, check. Do we have the... We had plenty of it before, we didn't need to make another one. Oh, for the storage disk to be able to make plenty of storage. Now we just need to fill up our one here. Perfect. Fluids. Four million fluids. Great. So, you laboratory block, tile, tile, and if we come back over here, Crafting grid is not going to be able to show us this, but we would need a fluid grid, which is showing 2.1 million water. Oh, did we actually set this other import? Because I had no idea to have this imported here. It should be... Yeah, this one should be set to items, to fluids. There we go. Now, if we come back up to the fluid grid up here, we should see... Yeah, we're getting 18 buckets of liquid XP so far. So that's looking pretty decent. So all we did do is set up our, well, mob grinder, grab more quartz, and also get, oh, food being stored. So I think this might be a good spot to call it here. Next time, we'll look into expanding our produce off plant section to get more but for now it's a good spot to call it so that i'm gonna say thank you all for watching if you like what you see then you can always comment like subscribe down below and if you want to you could also come join me over my discord or my twitch i stream every day over on twitch.tv slash expert 12 every monday through friday and that thank you all again for watching have a wonderful day in the sec 12 signing out see ya